of course, we're devastated. Um, trying to stay strong, strong for their kids. And, um, it's, it's not easy at all. New at nine, a Tuscaloosa family mourning the loss of Oliver Baker. Baker died earlier this week after being bitten by a copperhead in Walker County. People are more likely to encounter these dangerous reptiles than any other in the state. And as the weather heats up, your chances of coming across a slithering surprise definitely a lot higher. Yeah, it is snake season in Alabama, and while you might not like them, they are beneficial. Tyler fingered in the newsroom tonight. So Tyler, what are experts telling you in terms of recommendations to stay safe? If you see one, turn around and leave it be, guys. Most of the snakes you'll come across in our area are harmless, but even so, there are six venomous snake species in Alabama. This is the most common one. Um, this one is the water moccasin. As the temperature heats up, snakes are coming out. What we tell people is just be aware of where you're at. Don't go stepping into a large pile of brush because there might be snakes in their hiding. Of the six venomous snakes known to be in Alabama, the most common in the Mobile area are these guys, the water moccasin and the pygmy rattlesnake. The majority of the snakes we have in this area are non-venomous, are harmless to us, and are doing us a favor because what they mainly eat are mice and rats. One of the most dangerous snakes in Alabama is the coral snake because of its type of venom. Experts say its color is a dead giveaway. This is one you tell by the colors. There's a saying, red touching yellow, kill a fellow. That is your coral snake. The best way to stay safe from venomous and non-venomous snakes is just to leave them alone. Don't try to remove it. Don't try to kill it because that's when they're going to protect themselves and that's when you're going to get bit. Luckily, all those snakes I saw today were behind glass. If you do get bit by a venomous snake, experts say go straight to the hospital. The biggest recommendations to keep snakes at bay at your home is to keep your yard clean and make sure your grass is kept short. Live in the newsroom tonight, Tyler Finger, 